Hello, my name's Harrison and I work in the CIS Sandbox. Come visit us on the second floor of Smith behind the trading room if you have any further questions about this video, want help on your CS or IT course, or if you just want to check out virtual reality and any of the other cool stuff we have going on. So today we're going to go over how to install WebStorm on your computer so you can complete your HTML assignments in IT 101. I'm working on a friend's computer here today because I already have it downloaded on mine, so that's why there's no like usual snowy backgrounds. But to start, we need to set up our JetBrains account. So we're going to open up Chrome, go to this link, https colon slash slash www.jetbrains.com slash shop slash eform slash students and enter. Now we're going to apply with a university email address and we're going to say we're a student because like we're a student. You're going to type in your name, last name, and your Bentley EDU email address. The country we're in is the United States. You're not under 13 if you are, that's impressive, and you totally have read the accounts agreement and the last one is just optional. So you're going to then hit apply for free products. It's going to say thank you and now you're going to wait for an email which should come soon and you can just open it in Outlook when it comes. Not here yet. All right, there it is. So we can open that up and you're going to hit confirm request. Loading. So you got to scroll through all this and read it because, yeah, I did that. And uh, now you're not going to sign in with an existing account because you just registered for free products. You didn't make account. So you're going to say you're not registered yet and then type in your Bentley EDU email and hit sign up. Confirm that you're not a robot. Oh wow, it just believes me. All right, so now you can set a username if you want, or you can just go right ahead and set your password. And then if you, if you don't create a username, you'll just sign in with your Bentley EDU email. If you make a username, you just type in the username and then whatever password you put. Oh, I guess I did go out of password. That's interesting. Or a username, I mean. All right, now you've read the accepted the JetBrains account agreement, of course. Um, I don't like saving passwords, and she doesn't need this anyway. Um, so you're not going to buy a new license because you already have a license. You're going to want to screenshot this, though, because this license ID will allow you to, like, if something happens, get web uh, get webstorm again for free so just you can just screenshot this and then like save it in a word document or take a picture on your phone save it just make sure you save it somewhere where you know where it is all right and then we're actually just gonna click on webstorm and go there we're gonna hit download in the top right Depending on which computer you get, click Windows or Mac OS, but you might want to just, even if you have a Mac, just download the Windows version in VMware because that way you have the same, everything looks exactly the same when your teacher goes out, when your professor goes over it. So once you hit download, it should start right away on a new page. If not, you can click the direct link and it'll get it downloaded. And this is going to take a while, so I'll skip forward. Once the setup, wizard, the setup wizard starts, you'll just keep clicking next until you get to the page where it's got a bunch of boxes to check. And the ones that you're going to check are the four under create associations. You don't need to check anything else. And then Hit next again.
and then you're just gonna hit install wait I'll skip forward so now once you've completed the WebStorm setup uh, we'll check run WebStorm so it starts right away and then hit finish not import settings okay You've read and accepted the license agreement. Uh, this is your option. And now you get to pick a theme, either Darkula or Light. They didn't come up with a cool name for Light, I guess. And then you're just going to hit Start Using WebStorm. And then here's where you type in your username or your email if you didn't pick a username. And then type in your password. And then activate. So now you've opened up WebStone, create new project. HTML5, I'm guessing. Hit create, and now you're ready to go. All right, so that'll do it for this video. If you have any more questions, be sure to visit us in the CIS Sandbox. Thank you for watching.